What's up everyone, SwiftKey and Samsung Keyboard are two of the popular keyboard apps. In this video, we are going to compare both and see which one is for you. Regarding the interface, both look somehow distinct. SwiftKey offers two rows on the top. The top row is for changing the settings, accessing the clipboard, calendar, translation and more. Whereas, the second row is the suggestions row. Samsung Keyboard on the contrary comes with one row which does both the elements. It shows you the keyboard options including emojis, voice, gif, settings and when you type the row suggests the words. You can switch between the two anytime by tapping on the button on the left of the row. Moving to themes, SwiftKey offers to change the keyboard theme. The app comes with over 300 themes for iOS and Android. You can also create a custom theme in which you can add a background image add or remove the number line and enable or disable the button borders. On the contrary, Samsung Keyboard does not offer themes, but it comes with a few high contrast themes. High contrast themes come with solid colors to help you see and type even in the direct sunlight. One of the powerful features of keyboard apps is words prediction. SwiftKey remembers words even you type the same words or sentence a couple of times. The second time when you type, you don't see the suggestions. While the third time you see a couple and then if you continue, you see all the same words. Samsung keyboard most likely suggests the recently used words. One thing it does not do very well is it sometimes suggests the same word again and again. The keyboard does not use location, but like SwiftKey, it uses artificial intelligence to predict the next possible word. The next round is about autocorrection. In this round, we will test both. I am going to type the given sentence in both with at least one error in the main keywords and see which one is more accurate. If you look at the results, you will understand that there is some difference. For this round, I must say that Samsung keyboard is more accurate than SwiftKey. Let's move to flow typing. Again, we will be conducting a test. Let's take a look at the sentence I am going to type. Wait for some time until both finish. Well, look at both. I must say both did a good job. This round is a tie as both could type all the words accurately. Enough with the tests. SwiftKey supports over 500 languages with multiple input types for many languages. You can also type in 5 languages at the same time. Samsung keyboard on the other hand does not show the total number of languages but after counting manually. The app supports 87 languages. The input modes are fewer than SwiftKey. As for English, it only supports QWERTY and 3x4 modes. A couple of features are unique in SwiftKey. The first one is the translation. The app uses Bing Translator to translate the text in over 70 languages. You can also install Microsoft Translator to translate the text offline. The second feature is browsing the internet. The app supports both Google and Bing search engines. When you search for something, a new window pops up with search results. The feature can be improved as it only shows the results. It would be good to optimize the results to work with those messaging apps. Other than that, SwiftKey provides typing statistics. Typing statistics are one of the unique elements as you can see your heat map, efficiency, predictions and more in the app. The app also enables the incognito mode in the browser's private mode. Well, Samsung Keyboard also offers a few unique features. The app offers to add custom symbols to the period key menu. It provides a search bar to find emojis. It supports text and screenshot clipboard. And it supports Bitmoji and Mojitalk to suggest stickers in the selected apps such as WhatsApp. So depending on the user, both have a few good unique features. So which one is for you? Both offer the same and some unique elements. SwiftKey is advanced while Samsung Keyboard fulfills the basic requirements. For a tech savvy person who types a lot and types in multiple languages or someone who likes to see a new keyboard style very often, then SwiftKey is for them. While for a common person who does not type a lot and needs something to get things done, then Samsung Keyboard is for them. Anyway. Thanks very much for watching, please let me know your views in the comments below and subscribe to my channel 
for more Android and iOS videos.